Hi everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel where you can find videos that will make math more fun and easy for you to become winner in numbers, winner in life. In this video, I'm going to present to you how to visualize whole numbers up to 100,000. By the way, what do we mean by visualization? When do we say that we are visualizing a number? When we are visualizing, we are trying to make a mental picture of the number. Let us say, for example, when we have the population of the province of Batanes. And by the way, did you know that among the provinces in the Philippines, Batanes province has the smallest population during the 2015 census conducted by the Philippine Statistics Authority. And it has only 17,246 persons. So how big do you think is that 17,246. Can you picture out the number of people representing that 17,246? So we will try to represent this number using our different models. So let us start by representing this number using our base 10 model. Using our first model, we will be using units, longs, flats, and blocks. So let's start with the units. Each unit represents one. So in this case, each of these units represents one person or one individual. Now, if we are going to use this unit to represent 17,246, we will be using 17,246 units. So we'll copy this one. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Don't you think that it will be a long process for us to represent this 17,246? Let us try to see this one. This one represents only the 100 individuals because we have here 100 units. Just the 100 units that represent the 100 individuals. Our screen is almost filled up. So what we can do now is to use longs, the flats, and the blocks. Let us take a look on the screen. We said that a unit represents one individual. This is a long. A long is equivalent to 10 units. So there are 10 units in one long. The next is the flat. The flat has 100 units. So we have 100 units equivalent to one flat. And also one flat is equivalent to 10 of these longs. Next is our blocks. One block is equivalent to 1,000 units. 1,000 units is equivalent to one block. And also, one block is equivalent to 100 longs. And one block is also equivalent to 10 flats. So, given this unit, long, flat, and block, we can now represent 17,246. If you notice, we don't have a model to represent the 10,000. So we will just simply uh, write here one. So we need a mo one model to represent 10,000. Now let's proceed to the tabla. Based on the number, we need seven blocks. One, two, three, four, 
five, six, seven. So we need seven blocks. So if we have seven blocks, the seven, the value of seven is equivalent to 7,000 because each block is equivalent to 1,000. While we only use one of 10,000. So in other words, the value of one is 10,000 because it is in the 10,000 place, the 10,000. Now let's proceed to the flats. We need two flats. One, two. One flat is equivalent to 100. So two flats is equivalent to 200. Let's go to four. The four will be represented by the longs. We need four longs. One, two, three, four. Each long is equivalent to 10 units. In other words, when we have four longs, that is equivalent to 40 units. And the last one, six, we will represent it using our units. We need six units. One, two, three, four, five, and six. So six units, that is equivalent to six. In other words, the population of the province of Batanes in 2015 can be represented by these models. 1 of 10,000, 7 of 1,000, 2 of 100, 4 of 10, 6 of 1, or 1 of 10,000, 7 blocks, 2 flats, 4 longs, and 6 units we will be using another model. This time, we will use this model to represent the second smallest province in terms of the population during the 2015 census. So the second smallest province is Kamigin. In this model, we will be using the number buttons, or sometimes we call it as the number disk. So just like the, in the previous model, we have also the units or the one. We have the 10, the 100, the 1,000, and the 10,000. So if we will base it in, on the place value, we have the ones, the tens, the hundreds, the thousands, and the 10 thousands is value. Now, based on the number, we need 8 of 10,000. So we need 8, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So we have here 8 of 10,000 or 8 ten thousands. So when we have 8 of 10,000, this is equivalent to 80,000. 8, 10,000. Next, we will also use the, this, the number this color blue, which is 1,000 or the thousands. We need also 8. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, we have used 8 of 1,000 or 8,000, which is equivalent to 8,000. Now, next, our hundreds, this, or the 100, we need 4. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, we use 4 of 100 or 4 hundreds, that is equivalent to 400. Next, we need seven. This that represent ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we use seven of ten or seven tens. That is equivalent to seventy. And finally, we will use eight of one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we use eight of one or eight ones that is equivalent to eight. So to represent 
8,478. We need 8 of 10,000 or 8 ten thousands. 8 of 1,000 or 8 thousands. 4 of 100 or 4 hundreds, which is equivalent to 400. 7 of 10 or 7 tenths, that is equivalent to 70. And 8 of 1, 8 ones, that is equivalent to 8. This time, we will try to apply what we have learned. Let us try to answer this activity. Let us represent the number 45,023 using the number buttons or the number this. So let us start by identifying the number of 10,000 this that we need to use. Based on the number, we need four. One, two, three, four. Four of 10,000 or four ten thousands, that is equivalent to 40,000. Let's proceed to the thousand list. We need five. One, two, three, four, five. Five of one thousand or five thousands, that is equivalent to five thousand. The next is the hundreds. But if we look at the digit in the hundreds, it's zero. So meaning to say that we will not be using our hundreds this. Next is the tens. We need two. This one, two. Two of ten or two tens that is equivalent to twenty. And finally, for the ones, we need three. One, two, three. Three of one or three ones that is equivalent to three. So in other words, to represent 45,023, we need four ten thousands, five thousands, two tens, and three ones. Time. We will try to answer this activity. Let us find out the number being represented by this these or the buttons. Because this number is the number of the third smallest province, Sikihor, in terms of the 2015 population as according to the Philippine Statistics Authority. Let us start with the 10,000. Count the this that represent the 10,000. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So in other words, there are 9 of 10,000 or 9 ten thousands that is equivalent to 90,000. We have also here the blue disc. Each blue disc represents 1,000 or thousands. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. There are 5 of 1,000 or 5,000 that is equivalent to 5,000. Let's count also the hundreds this. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. There are 9 of 100 or 9 hundreds that is equivalent to 900. How about the tens? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. There are 8 of 10 or 8 tens that is equivalent to 80. And finally, the ones or the units. 1, 2, 3, 4. There are 4 of 1 or 4 ones that is equivalent to 4. This model represents the number 95,984. In summary, when we visualize number, we are trying to represent the number using our models such as the base 10 model or our number disk or the number buttons. And the position of each digit in the given number will determine the value. Thank you for watching. I hope that you have learned and enjoyed watching this video. But please don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell for you to be notified every time I have a new video. See you on my next video.